Hey folks, welcome back to another video. Just out here down at the river today, just doing a little uh, little fishing. Thought I'd get out and do make a couple of videos, and uh, it's awful hot out here today. It's, I kid you not, it's like 95 degrees and I don't know, like 70% humidity. So, you know, such is life I'm down here in the south in the summertime. But anyway, I just thought I'd uh, get out and do a little fishing down at the river. I'm using my uh, my hobo fishing kit. And uh, we'll kind of go over that. I had some questions, um, I don't know, a long time ago in one of my videos uh, about these. These have become, I guess they, they were made kind of popular by Dave Canterbury and stuff uh, several years ago. But um, I've been using, I've been using this one and I've got a couple more made for, I don't know, probably five, six, seven years or more. I caught a lot of fish actually, believe it or not, off these little things. They're pretty neat, but... We'll go over them in a minute, but so far out here, just uh, again down by the river, you know today. But uh, I just got a quick little gear uh, load out for you. Got my ribs pack on here. Got my Becker VK16 kind of strapped on right there. Got a a uh, watch. Ribs pack hasn't changed much, um, you know. Not very far from my house, so I'm not like I'd have to stay out here. But if I would, I got everything in here to stay out here if I needed to. Um, in here, it's got my Glock 19 loaded up. Uh, the first couple of uh, shots are uh, snake shot because it is summertime and the snakes are out. I hadn't seen any today since I've been out here, but um, last time I was out here, I seen a bunch. But um, anyway, kind of hard to tell in here, but I got a uh, little tarp, uh, toilet paper. You know, right in the rain, notepads, some um, cordage, stuff like that. Uh, outside pocket here, just got some binoculars, some flagging tape, earplugs. Other side, uh, this pocket here, got a compass, um, some little fire starters, a lighter, and then the big pouch here. Just got a bandana, which is coming handy to wipe my face all day. My phone, some little snacks in here, pro bar, stuff like that, a little headlamp, and um, my uh, water filter uh, to filter water. That's really uh, about all I have out here today with me, so let me uh, rearrange the camera and we'll go over here and sit down in a place and I'll lay out this little, uh, this little kit for you and show you. I'll be right back. All right, let's go over this little uh, hobo fishing kit, or I call it the, my survival fishing kit. Like I said, I have uh, several of these made, and it's just a uh, PVC pipe that I've cut down. I think this one's about eight inches long, and I've put a cap on it, kind of drilled a hole in it, put some uh, cordage on it so I can put this around my arm when I'm casting. And then I just uh, rolled up, um, I don't know, probably 150 feet of a fishing line on there and then uh, down here you can tell right here I just have some um, gorilla tape and then on down here it's covered up by the ranger band but I have another roll of um, like spider wire the the fishing line that doesn't stretch and stuff so spider wire but anyway on here I just have right now I just have a little spinner attached to a uh, swivel and a little weight and this spinner has uh, given me pretty good luck down at this little river um, for a while uh, since I've used it. But anyway, so inside, I just open it up. You know, just take the cap off. First little thing here, just have kind of shoved in the top is a little bobber, because these these little hobo fishing reels and survival fishing kits they're not going to catch huge fish. So you know, pan fish stuff like that. You know, it's about all you're going to catch. So anyway, I got. Gonna pull some stuff out. I got a little spoon, a little treble hook. I got a little um, another hook attached to a little leader. Another treble hook there. Let's see. And then pull out this little pouch here, and then it's got various little lures in here. I've got some grubs, a couple more spinners, stuff like that. Like I said, these have um, actually came in handy down here at this river. They've they've worked really well. And then pull out another 
little thing here. Looking over there, I got some fish jumping over there. I wish they'd bite. They're not biting today. Maybe it's too hot, but they're jumping. Anyway, another little um, bag here. And in this bag, I have a, a bunch of hooks, various different sizes, from large all the way down to small, uh, several different size uh, weights and or sinkers, lead shot, split shot. Also, have a couple more small little um, spinner baits, and I have like three different flies in there as well. So if you want to do a little, you know, fly, you know, top water with a fly, I got that in there. So I've got some big hooks in here. Can't really tell, but there's the one. It's I got a couple of really big ones in here because, you know, again, like I said, this is only going to catch small fish, but you can use the bigger hooks. You know, you can take the line off and use the bigger hooks and put it on a um, a different you know, like a cane pole or something like that with some heavier test line, which the spider wire back here is um, 50 pound test, I believe. So I can unspool that, attach it to like a cane pole, use a bigger hook or something like that, and um, then catch some bigger fish, you know, if I want. But anyway, that's just a quick little um, overview of my little survival fishing kit or my hobo fishing kit. Like I said, this thing, I've, I've used it a lot over the years, and um, it's worked well for me. So, anyway, if you guys want to make one, like I said, it's real easy to make, you know, just PVC pipe, a cap. Like, like if you see here, I've um, painted mine OD green. Um, you can paint them if you want. And just um, spool the line, you know, around it and um, cover it with a ranger band or something like that to keep the line from unspooling. And that's all you got to do. And they work, um, they work really well. Or at least in my experiences, they work really well. My, uh, my youngest daughter actually caught her first fish using this particular um, reel. Or this particular setup uh, right down at another part of the river down here not far away so which is kind of cool so but anyway y'all take care uh, I'll see you on another video I'm gonna try to catch some more fish and uh, always remember your PPE plan prepare and exercise thanks folks have a great day